Welcome back to 3D Decode. Today's topic is one of the most critical elements in centrifugal compressors, dry gas seals, as per API 692. Dry gas seals have replaced traditional oil seals, and understanding them is a must for any high-level interview in oil and gas. Let's begin. What is a dry gas seal? A dry gas seal is a non-contacting mechanical seal used in centrifugal compressors. It works with a very thin film of clean gas between the rotating seal face and the stationary seal face. Compared to oil seals, dry gas seals eliminate oil contamination, reduce emissions, and improve reliability. Basic Principle How do they work? One seal face has shallow spiral grooves. As the shaft rotates, gas is pumped into these grooves, creating a thin gas film. This gas film separates the faces, so there is no contact during operation. The pressure difference across the faces ensures sealing. When the compressor stops, spring force pushes the faces together to prevent leakage. Types of DGS There are three main types. Single seal, used for non-hazardous or low-pressure service. Tandem seal, the most common in refineries. Two seals are placed in series where the secondary seal contains any leakage from the primary. Double seal, back-to-back, -back, used in very high pressure or hazardous applications. Seal gas system, API 692. Dry gas seals cannot work alone. They require a dedicated seal gas system. Functions include providing clean, dry gas to the seal, maintaining pressure differential to keep process gas out, safely removing leakage gas. Typical components are seal gas supply filters to remove particles and liquids, seal gas heaters to prevent condensation, a control panel with pressure regulators and flow meters, separation gas to prevent lube oil ingress, a vent system to collect leakage gas and send it to flare or recovery. Operating pressures. The seal gas pressure must always be slightly higher than the process gas pressure at the seal chamber, typically by about 1.5 to 2 bar. This ensures that process gas never enters the seal cavity. Common problems and failures. Some of the most common issues with DGS are dirty seal gas, particles can scratch faces and cause failure, condensation, liquid destroys the gas film inside grooves, incorrect pressure control can cause reverse flow or dangerous leaks, improper venting may result in hazardous gas release. Mini quiz. Let's do a quick quiz. One, which API standard covers dry gas seals? Two, what creates the thin gas film in a DGS? Three, why must seal gas be cleaner than process gas? Four, what's the difference between tandem and double seal arrangements? Practical task, here's a hands-on exercise for you. Try sketching a tandem DGS system with the following. Compressor shaft, primary seal, secondary seal, seal gas supply line, separation gas line, vent line. Being able to draw and explain this arrangement is a huge advantage in interviews. Here are some typical interview style questions and answers. Q. Why are dry gas seals preferred over oil seals? A. Because they eliminate oil contamination, reduce emissions, and improve reliability with less maintenance. Q. What is the purpose of spiral grooves in a DGS? A. They pump gas inward and create a stable gas film separating the seal faces. Q. What happens if dirty gas enters the seal faces? A. Faces get damaged quickly, leading to seal failure and gas leakage. What's the role of the vent system in a DGS? A. To safely collect and dispose of leakage gas, usually to flare. In a tandem seal, what's the function of the secondary seal? A. It contains leakage from the primary seal and provides backup sealing. And that wraps up today's session on dry gas seals, API 692. If this video helped you, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to 3D Decode for more engineering deep dives. See you in the next video.